Oh, this one's a little nerve wracking. We spent an amazing week in the Florida Keys where we jet skied around the island and explored the best of Key West. It's only fitting after visiting Ernest Hemingway's house to stop at Sloppy Joe's, one of his favorite hangouts. We stayed overnight on a floating tiki hut miles offshore in the Gulf of Mexico. I kind of want to cry. Sorry, I do want to cry. We caught our dinner fishing in the Atlantic. Oh my god, I got something already? Go. Oh my gosh! That's a snapper. Hi, buddy. And Chad even reeled in a shark. Oh my god! Holy! Hi, buddy! Followed by an epic afternoon soaking in the sun and ocean on the famous Isla Mirada sandbar. Check out our previous videos to catch up on all the excitement so far. Our final stop in this Florida Keys adventures is Key Largo. But first... Word on the street is you can't leave Isla Mirada without checking out Robbie's. I have no idea where I'm going. Is this good? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. I ordered the smoked fish dip. Look at this beauty. This it comes with um, red onions, jalapenos. These are pepperoncinis, I believe, and capers, like these cool cracker things. I'm gonna try some plain first. Yeah. I'm sure it doesn't need any of this because the flavor is really incredible. Let's do one more bite. We're gonna put some fish bread, pickled jalapeno, pepperoncini, and. Mm. All those flavors together. Wow. Good stuff. Black and my my fish tacos. Oh my god. Look at that. That is so full. Here we go. Mmm. Those are excellent. Two admission in one bucket, please. You can touch these. So one of the most popular things to do here at Robbie's is to feed the tarpon. Without feeding the pelicans. Apparently they're pretty aggressive, so we're going to try to avoid them. Oh, <laughs> that one got my finger. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Gotta get down under the water. Oh jeez, where'd he come from? <laughs> Under the thing. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> they were kind of like sneak attack from under the dock. Oh, so it's a little nerve wracking. Alright, ready for the wall. Right up top here where you enter. to the Reef Resort. Complimentary lemonade when you come in. Why are you not grabbing the cookies? These are both for you. I don't need cookies. Just checked into the Reef House. We've got two complimentary drinks, bonus, and there's a fitness center here. So when it's a thousand degrees tomorrow morning, the next morning, if I want to like hop on a treadmill. Must be level four, right? 441, you'd think it would be level four? Yep. All right, let's do it. We checked into the Reef House Hotel. Um, actually, sorry. We checked into the Reef House Resort. It's probably more than a hotel. It seems like it's pretty cool. The amenities are on the place, but here is our room. Nice, huge counter, which I love. The bathroom is nice size. I like that the toilet and the sink are separated. The shower is giant. I don't know if you want to come in and see it. Huge living area. I love the map on the table. The keys. That's pretty cool. Bed, awesome. But this. <laughs> Check out. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I got this. Pretty solid sized balcony. You got the beautiful water view out there. I mean, you can't go wrong. Oh, we can probably just sit here and watch the sunset. If you come around the corner and it floats your boat, you got a lawn chair. You can lay out in the sun. 
I mean, I don't know that we'll be doing that because we'll be snorkeling, snorkeling and stuff, but it's an option and options are always good. It actually looks like down there, there's actually a beach area that doesn't have that gross seagrass in it. I don't know what I want to do first. Like, I kind of want to put my suit on and jump in the water. We took a quick dip in the ocean. Is it the ocean or is it the gulf? We're going to Sundowners for dinner and hopefully catch the sunset. Yeah, I've got some bacon wrapped scallops here. And then we order the key lime seafood platter that has lobster, shrimp, and crab meat, I believe. I'm gonna try a bite without the sauce and a bite with the sauce. I'm gonna see if they're as good as they were in Anna Maria Island without the sauce. Yep. Either way, they're perfect. Highly recommend. Going for the lobster first. Maybe? You want a knife? Uh, it is a lobster. Lobster was excellent. It is like key lime. That is delicious. Shrimp is amazing. I like it. There's some crab meat in there somewhere, no? Sprays? Oh, yeah, right here. I've searched everywhere to find her. Hard to believe today is our last day in the Florida Keys. This morning we're taking a snorkel tour. We'll be headed out to the John Penny Camp State Park Dry Rock. We're hoping to be able to see Christ of the Abyss. We got room for four more on top. Just finished snorkeling. 
It was amazing. We saw some pretty cool fish, and now we're hopping off on the very steep ladder. This is easier to do though when the waves aren't like all over the place. Thank you. It's official. I'm an island girl. time here in the Florida Keys is coming to an end. Which is such a bummer because I feel like there's so much more we could do here. Yesterday, after snorkeling, we decided to take the afternoon to just chill by the pool and really put the camera down and relax. We are going to drop the top down on the Mustang one last time and make our way up to the Centurion Lounge. Century Lounge in Minneapolis, we had to pay for premium beer. Here in Miami, it's complimentary. Cheers. So our gate is over in Concourse H, and we had to hightail it all the way over to Concourse D to get to the Centurion Lounge. It took quite a while, and then you gotta go through the security checkpoint. Not sure that it was exactly worth it. Avocado or apricot, sorry, apricot toast thing, and a little key lime mousse, some chicken, and a salad. <laughs> now the long trek back to Concourse H. Cookie for the road. Somebody suggested this route, take the elevator up to the sky train and go to D60 to exit and get to our concourse a lot quicker. This is like another workout. Had to go back through security checkpoint. Anyways, Diana is up at the gate getting ready. We're going to be the last ones. Yeah, I've officially pulled the camera and Okay, so sorry about that. A couple bumps on the climb out, so nothing to be alarmed about, but so just make sure you keep your eye on the seatbelt sign as we make our way up north. Less weather conditions in Minneapolis, uh, light winds, clear skies, it's a lovely day, about 77 degrees. Make yourself comfortable there, and welcome on board. I walk until my 